Hello there fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome! So in today's video we're going to be catching the last three epics on Japan 1 DLC that were released with the Japan 2 DLC. So if you didn't know, um, they did release uh, some fish back on the Japan 1 DLC when they did the Japan 2 update. So if you haven't gone back and caught those, go back and catch those. Uh, it also works on getting your, your crab down here. So we are going to be catching an eel, a squid, and the lionfish. So we're going to be catching the diamond squid, the kadako more, and the luna lionfish. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out to location number two and catch the kadako more first. Let's go ahead and bring up the map. Go to location two, Japan part one, or jo Japan part one, location number two, and go fishing. All right, so here we're on location two. On this one, we'll be, we'll be catching the Kadako More right there. And what I'm going to be doing is targeting the swirls. As you can see, it does all the depths, um, but I usually target the swirls because what we're going to be looking for is the larger swirls. Um, if you target the bubbles, you're going to be catching a lot of the sailfin poacher, um, which is also an epic. So if you want to just go between the two sailfin poacher and Kadako More, what I would do is I would target the uh, swirls first and then the bubble second. And then you can be catching those two all day long. Um, but yeah, we're going to be targeting some swirls and we're going to be looking for some larger swirls. So let's see. That's a pretty good size swirl there. That one looks like it might be too small. And that one looks like a good size swirl there. Let's go ahead and cast out to that one real quick. Uh, it's not an instant red line. Eh, let it sit there for a second and nothing. Cast to this one. I went way too far. <laughs> oh, that was right on top of it. Is it an instant? Oh, oh, there we go. Instant red line. Might catch this one right away. It is going to run on you. That's a large fish. So it doesn't look large when you bring it in, but it is considered a large fish. And this one's not too difficult to find. Nice to see it jump. See if we got it. Oh, yep, there it is. I made it easy. So again, you're looking for the larger swirls. It's a really small swirl, or I mean, a large to medium-sized swirl. you're looking for. Bring this guy in and then we'll head off to the next location. one. Oh, it's my personal best. That's why. There we go. The Kadako More. Right, go ahead and keep him. Getting closer, getting back up to the 300,000 mark. All right, let's head off to the next location. Okay, so here we are, location three. On this one, we're going to be going after the diamond squid. Again, we're going to be using the crawfish. A lot of stuff likes the live bait of the krill. And of course your lure is minnow and metal jig. Um, I suppose if you wanted to, because we're going to be targeting the top, you could probably run a, a minnow or a metal jig uh, if you want to do some lure fishing. But you're going to run into the metal jig. Uh, you're going to get the rainbow runner. You're going to get that one a lot on the metal jig. Um, yeah. Japanese amberjack, you're going to get a lot of those. Giant trevally, you'll get that one on the minnow. 
metal jig again. So I probably wouldn't use the metal jig. Wahoo, you're going to get a bunch of those. So minnow is going to get you a lot of stuff as well. So if you're just out here fishing and you want to get a bunch of points and stuff like that, uh, go ahead and throw a minnow on there or a metal jig. And eventually you'll catch that uh, diamond squid as well. Uh, but if you're just targeting the diamond squid, I highly recommend just switching to the crawfish and fishing on top. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be looking for some large um, bubbles. Or some large swirls, I mean. <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and switch hard expert. And swirls on this location are extremely hard to see. There's some out there. And bring it up to it. Instant red, not an instant red. All right. So then I'll move on. And I think that's a swirl right there. Oops, a little bit farther. Out there. And like I said, it's hard to see. You can see it. Okay, now you can see it when it's right there in the light. But this location is extremely difficult to see any swirls on. And bubbles for that matter. Swirl there. It's not an instant red line. And I see bubbles. And but I don't see any more swirls. I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. And I'll go ahead and bring it back as soon as I get one on the line. Alright, so there we go. We got a couple of swirls right out here. Good size. Turned red pretty quickly. I would consider that instant red. So we're gonna go ahead and let it go. I think we have the diamond squid on there. There it is. Yep, we did get it. Uh, it probably took me about another four or five resets after I said I'd bring it back. So it wasn't too much longer. Maybe about another five, ten minutes. Even that. So again, this one's not too hard to find. Just targeting those larger swirls like that. this guy in and then we'll go to the very last location of the Japan DLC one epics for the new from the new Japan DLC all right there's the diamond squid kind of a crazy looking guy go ahead and keep him and let's head over to location six All right, so location six, we're going to be catching the lunar lionfish. And again, like all the others, it's, it's crawfish, so makes it kind of nice. Um, again, it does like all depths, but we're going to also target swirls on uh, this one as well. The reason we're going to do that is he is a tiny fish, so we're going to be looking for, I mean, not tiny, tiny, but he's the smallest fish out here. Um, so we're going to be looking for a very tiny little swirl. So as you can see, all these swirls are large. We're going to skip those. Hard expert. And those are too big out there. That one is kind of tiny, but it still looks too big. Should be a really tiny swirl. Hard expert. Okay, so there's one out there. You see that really tiny swirl? 
barely, I mean, right there, it just looks like a little dot compared to the one to the right, which is a medium size or a larger size one. Just a small swirl. So we're going to go after that one. I can get close to it. Let me try to cast a little bit better. There we go. It's closer. All right, let me go over to the left a little bit more. I keep casting too far to the right. It was about there. Wait for a second. Here it is. Got a red line. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for just a tiny little swirl. Sometimes the swirls will come up and they'll go away, away right away. And on those, just wait and they'll come back. Sometimes you just gotta wait on them and they'll come back. He doesn't fight. You might get a shark on here. <laughs> And there's the lionfish. So I've got a number two on here. I did catch quite a few of them when I was on the uh, the beta though. So this is one of them that I like to catch. Pretty cool. Now I got another one from my fish tank. Go ahead and keep that guy. And there you go. Now we've caught all of the Japan DLC one uh, epics. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.